Hey guys, welcome to Blacklisted. Uh, just want to start off and apologize. I don't really have much, uh, what do you call it, content right now. I've been incredibly busy at work. And uh, I got about, well, less than two weeks left uh, to get this airplane done that we're working on. And it's just beating the crap out of me. Lots of overtime and just lots of stuff to do. So... I haven't I, I haven't been videotaping at all. I've done a few little things to the Jeep, but uh, just stuff I haven't recorded. There was no real point. But I got the uh, just so you know, I got like the uh, the winches running. I finished connecting the cables, and it works perfectly fine. Uh, maybe I'll try and show you guys that eventually, because I want to do a uh, I want to do like a test run. I want to connect it to like a fence at work or something. And I want to pull the Jeep across my parking lot while I grease up the, put some better grease or more grease on on the cable. I want that thing to last me as long as I can, so I don't have to replace it. But when I do, I'll get a synthetic. You know, a lot, lot less weight, just as strong. Uh, what else? I did a mod in the tailgate. I'll show you guys that. It's a, I think it's a really cool mod. A couple of my buddies are kind of jealous that I did it. They wish they would have thought of it first. <laughs> but, uh, I, should, uh, I don't think you can see it. I got my, uh, stuff's in the way in the back. But what it, what that is, is a, I was watching a video and a guy did a, he took the, uh, what do you call it? The countersink LEDs. Like it's like a four LED or a six LED, whatever it is. Just those like cheapies off of eBay. And I mounted them in the inside rear uh, hatch and there's a switch in the window and all that stuff so when you're in the back at nighttime needing, needing light you got the hatch open you flick the switch and I basically just call it the Jesus lights the God lights because it just it's insanely bright pouring straight down so you can see in the in the back of the Jeep the ground is lit up and for me, the way I want to do it is I want to get one of them parking or one of them tents, like those 10 by 10 tents, whatever. And one side of it, I want to leave open, back the Jeep in. And that's going to be my, basically my kind of like common area. My bed will be the back of the Jeep. I'll have the hatch open. I'll have lighting inside the tent and a nice, nice tent to store all my stuff while we're out camping. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a bit too. Right now, I'm just, I'm just kind of getting this video started. I'm just sitting here, sitting in the Jeep, pondering. I don't have internet right now, so I'm a little bored. No YouTube videos or Netflix. Uh, what else? You guys know I got the cooler working. And actually, I'll show you this. I'll pull you off here. You guys haven't seen this yet. I'll flip you around. I installed my uh, gauge pod for the transmission cooler. So I haven't got the wires hooked up, of course, because it takes a while. But I have all the all the crap I need to get it working. And that's an auto meter gauge. I got that from Jeff. Uh, he isn't. He wasn't planning on using it yet. Uh, so he basically gave me that one in exchange for something. I can't remember. I gave him I gave him something or I was supposed to give him something and he gave me the gauge, so I can't remember. What did I do? I thought I was supposed to buy something. Oh god, I can't remember. I'll have to ask him. I probably haven't bought it for him yet. But worst case scenario is if uh I'm actually was I was just gonna replace it when he's ready. So that's that's a part of a video that I'm gonna do, the final install of the of that. Uh, my biggest issue is I'm like I'm not a huge fan of wiring, but now I got to find out where the uh, you know I got to find some switch power, so I might tap into like the stereo or or something just to make it easy. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, in the back driver's side corner under the paneling, I mounted another one of them little four uh, like four fuse four fuse. Uh, power distribution block thing underneath the paneling 
So any lights and stuff that I run back there, uh, I can run off of that fuse block now. There's one under my dash right now that the last owner added. It was to power uh, these power seats and I believe this CB radio that's right here. And the last one, the fourth one, oh, that was another thing I did. The fourth plug on here, I actually connected to, there's an AC outlet in the back and that's now functional. So I have AC plug-in back there for whatever, whatever I wanna do, probably a tire pump or something, uh, which I'm gonna be getting soon, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna hardwire it in yet. I'll see. Too many plans, too much stuff going on at work, so I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, what else? I am still thinking about doing a secondary battery in the back in the tire hole where the spare tire would go. Not sure yet, because I have to get a yellow top for the front, and I might move the Kirkland to the back for now if it'll fit under the floor. If it doesn't, I might end up having to just buy a smaller, smaller battery and I'll just bring the Kirkland fully charged out camping, out on the trail, so at least I have a full battery if I need to boost or something. I got a full battery for that. Just use that as a boost battery. Uh, what else? God. Oh, I wrecked my brand new, uh, I had a four foot uh, antenna for the CB radio. Got it all nicely installed, it was a beautiful one. It had an adjustable tip on top, whatever that does, because I needed to get it uh, tuned or whatever. And I wrecked it in a car wash, wasn't paying attention, totally forgot. So I'm probably gonna go buy another one. I'm gonna go get a longer one, a red one, and I'm gonna buy a spring this time, so at least if it goes through the car wash, it'll bend. Uh, what else? Oh, here's something I just picked up. I'm gonna actually install this right now, as long as my dashboard isn't greasy. But I got a, where are you going here? Uh, what is this? This is a Smitty built clinometer with a compass built in. And just a cheapy, I think it was like 30 bucks, nothing, nothing expensive. But as you can see, you tilt it, you tilt it forward and back, the vehicle moves. Right. Whatever. I mean, it's it's cool. It, it looks like it's definitely functional, and will probably help. At least it'll give you a bit of a bit of a guide, so you're not going too crazy. But I'm trying to mount. I want to try and find a home for it where it's not sticking up over my hood. I don't really know. I could put it in there, but now I can't see my gauges. <laughs> so that is a no. Oh, I guess I could put it right there. Let's see. I need you back. I think I think I'm gonna put it right there. So there's there's where I'll see it. We just gotta clean my dashboard, but it's below my hood line. It's out of my line of sight, so I'm not gonna. You know, it's not in the way. So I think I'll mount it right there. Let me just, I'm just gonna have to put you down and I'll uh, see if I can get this thing stuck. All right, here we go guys. It's mounted. It might look a little high, but it's it looks about, that's how it looks while I'm driving. Like it's literally like just, oh there we go, right there. It's just below my line of sight. Or sorry, it's just below the hood line. So it won't be in my way whatsoever. So that's awesome. There we go, there's a better better look at it. And yeah, it's like 30 bucks or $35. Can't beat that. Oh, here's something I wanted to show you guys. I've had this for a while. I showed a couple friends and they crapped their pants. My flex capacitor. How do you like that, huh? Isn't that just fantastic? 15, 15 or twenty dollars. I got it off of like some sort of a geek, geek squad webs website. So, yeah, yeah, that's freaking awesome. It's actually a little bit brighter in the video. It's not like it looks cool in person, but it really lights up on video. That's awesome. Yeah, flux capacitor. Flex or flux? I, I can't remember. You might have to let me know in the comments. 
But yeah, so I gotta build another, I wanna build a little hat bracket to go underneath this uh, auxiliary power, or uh, what do you call it, converter. And uh, just so it sits up, because right now I just don't like how this thing is mounted. It's so low in there because of this lip that's right here that it's actually hard to plug stuff in. So I will fix that. All right, shut this off. Oh, but by the way, it's uh, it, all it is is a USB charger. So I can have a bunch of stuff plugged in. Uh, I wonder why I'm missing, I don't know where it is. I'm missing my, uh, like I said, I was missing my uh, flashlight charger. I think I took it into work. Oh well. I don't know if you guys can see, uh, it's too dark back there. Let's see, let's see if you can see them. No, it's impossible. I'll, I'll take you out there later. All right, uh, I'm just gonna head back in the house and tomorrow morning, or sometime tomorrow, I'll uh, give you a bit of that, uh, oh, there we go. I'll uh, show you some of that stuff that I did. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll go through my kit. I've been putting together my, uh, that case right there, I've been putting together my uh, recovery kit and all my safety equipment and all my, my container filled with, oop, Jesus my container filled with like my oils and fluids. I still gotta buy some more stuff to actually top it up so I have everything. Uh, but yeah, pretty much it. So uh, let's skip till tomorrow. I'm going to bed and uh, I'll show you what I what I did. All right, so next day, sorta. Actually, it's two days later and it's after work, so it's been a while. But I'm at the Jeep here and I'll show you guys these uh, couple of the mods here I did turn you around here again stupid buttons so this is what I did I took those flush mount lights oh can't ah uh, sorry it's really hard to see outside right now took the flush mount lights mounted them in the plastic there was actually a big hole in the back here in the metal so these just they just popped right in and I mounted a switch here pull it down and the lights are on so there's a lot of a lot of lights here when you're standing back here. It's actually pretty cool. I love it. Good little mod. What else? Uh, I think the winch. Winch is all functioning. Fully powered. I got the uh, uh, Jeff installed the fair lead. So and I got it all tested. So everything's working. I got it all locked over onto my clevis, but. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Quite happy, just a couple more things. And then a quick update on my Avengers since I'm out here. There we go, door fixed. Brand new window. They actually tinted the window for me too. I, was, I wasn't expecting that to get done. It was so badly, uh, well not badly, it was Ill illegal tint and they fixed it, so that's awesome. But there she is all back I got my uh, garage but there's too much snow behind it because all day long the Sun doesn't actually hit it so uh, kind of kind of bites there's no way I can get the car in right now oh I mean there's not really no way there's just no way that I want to spend any time on it right now oh, pardon my hand I'm just plugging you in There we go. All right, I'll use this thing later. All right, uh, so that's pretty much that. I got a couple. I got a couple other things in the mail. I got a, uh, a backup camera and uh, something else. Oh, and red LEDs. And I've been working on my hood mod uh, that I haven't really told you guys about yet, or maybe I have, where I was gonna put a, a fan in the hood. With a hood, with a with a cowl scoop and all that stuff, whatever, to you know, pull some hot air out of the engine bay. I have the cowl basically built; it's all done. I just have to paint it, and we got to do the customizing on the hood to make it fit. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of another short video, but uh, there is things coming. I'm actually heading over to uh, Jeff's tonight. I don't know how much work I'm going to be able to do. I got a really bad case of gout right now. And so I'm wearing slippers. Not the greatest thing to be at work with, but 
it's comfortable. Uh, but we gotta get, we're running out of time on Jeff's, so we gotta, we gotta start prepping and getting that thing ready uh, for paint, because I think next, not next weekend, but the weekend after, I believe we're, well, we're definitely, uh, possibly next weekend, the weekend after, 100% for sure, uh, we're gonna be painting. I gotta get that done. And then hopefully on that weekend, I'm gonna be getting my, uh, get my tie rods and what else? And my passenger side uh, bearing hub uh, installed. Really gotta get that stuff on there. I wanna have all new all new components before I go out, out on the trails there. Just, you know, less chance it's not breaking. But yeah, uh, so yeah, again, sorry the video's a little bit short. Like I said, there's more to come. But uh, I'm out of here. Hope you guys liked the video. Have a great night. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.